Okay, this is the primary gray water treatment unit. This pipe here is all the gray water from the sinks in the house, the shower, essentially everything except toilet waste all goes into this system here. This is the first of a number of stages. And as you can see, the whole thing is nothing but three used 55 gallon drums, a couple of five gallon buckets, about know, $50 worth of piping, a couple of little aquarium air pumps. And what it's doing is this tank here is, I call it uh, flow equalizer. Basically the idea is when you have a whole lot of, you know, like say when the washing machine dumps, it's gonna just hit it with a big surge and if you have any sludge settled out, it'll disturb it. So what this does is, what you hear burping here, is uh, it's a little surge pump. And what it does is runs all the time very slowly. To could very slowly drop the level of the water in this tank where let's say a washing machine dumps and the thing will fill up right in a minute when, when the washing machine dumps and then it maybe takes the next two to three hours to very gradually pump it from here into this one since it's so slow what this one's for is to let the sludge accumulate in the bottom without disturbing it and then this has um, another little five gallon bucket. It's kind of cut and fitted into a hole in the top. This is just a little aquarium air pump. This is an ozone generator. And ozone, if you, it just hooks up to the air pump. You pump air through it. It passes a, actually a little corona discharge, you know, like, like lightning in nature that produces ozone. And then this hose bubbles that through the water, and that's a sterilizer. Ozone kills bacteria. And then this overflows into this one, and I have an air pump in here. There's another surge pump in here that's basically continually recirculating the water from this tank and dribbling it down through this trickle filter. Now what a trickle filter is, is, is a lot of surface area for bacterial colonization. I, I can pull this off to where you can see what, what it is. This is a surge pump, it's spraying water. Now what you're looking at there is furnace filter material from Walmart, just rolled up in a, in a roll and put into five gallon bucket. So the whole thing just lifts off of here, it's easily maintainable. You can take the whole thing off. None of this pipe is glued, it just pulls apart. You can take this thing out and hose it down. And the way this surge pump works is kind of like a, a percolator, coffee percolator, except instead of using boiling water and at the bottom, you use a little air hose down in the pipe. So the bubbles will force the water up out the top it, and it's well aerated. Usually oxygen is, is the limiting factor that you need, you run out of to limit how much, how much bacteria you can grow. And then the the sludge, the, you know, the bacterial end product flows back to this one, so it's continually recirculating back to this second drum here. So this is kind of where the sludge accumulates. And then this has a pump in it with a float switch, and then this pumps, this hose here, this pumps up to the, the wetlands in the pond up above. And the whole thing only uses like six watts of electricity for, for one of these little air pumps. So the advantages over most pumps is that it, it can run dry without burning out. It can run 24-7 for a year, 24 hours a day, and draw maybe $10 a year worth of electricity. And there's nothing to go wrong. To, there's really no moving parts except just a little vibrating diaphragm.